So my IG got cut off. So my IG got cut off. I'm back. Anyway, the point is, like in real life, Jesus, the whole thing was not meant to. I was just laying out what actually took place in real life. So many people speculated. So many people lied on me. So many people made me out to be like vengeful and all this other shit. When I was really just minding my business in in real life, like once again, I made the choice. I made the choice to go. I really love this person, and I know why this happened. He he used to be really fucked up at one point. He's not that person no more. I can say that. He he not. But but you know things have a chain reaction. Trauma un. Resolve conversations, unhealed wounds, blah, blah, blah. Shit happens. Things happen. People get involved. All that shit. All that shit came and took place. And I had a decision to make. And I just decided to go, no. I don't don't want that to be the reality. I'd rather just leave and let things play out. And because I made that decision, everybody went on with their life. His mama still living in the house. She's still doing well. She's a happy person. She got her son and her baby, and she's proud of him. His son is all honors and, and still awesome and bright. He living his life. He should be 17 by now because I'm 37. I hope everything is, and he's clearly, he's always been smart as a whip, so I'm sure he's been watching and seeing everything on the internet and having his own opinions and his own everything. I'm sure. But I made the decision so that he could have a happy future. I gave one kid a happy future that wasn't my kid. I tried to do the same thing with my nieces and nephews, you know, despite the decisions my sisters made, so that they could be happy kids. I always think about the kids first in any situation, even in fifth situation. I always think about the children first. That's the type of person I am. So, anyway. um, Yeah, they got that restroom locked. So, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. But I'll be live again. I didn't forget about none of the stuff with the, the podcast and none of that. It's just, I'm a human being. And I have been severely used. And um, I, every day I'm like, dude, I don't have anything left. Leave me alone. All I want to do is just sit somewhere in a corner and work and build my shit back up. And then when I feel like it, take a break or go dance or go, you know, do whatever. But that never, ever, ever was an opportunity or a reality of that because the motherfucker was so controlling. And all he cared about was his goddamn bag. Great. God bless him. I release him with love and light. I just want him to stay out of my finances, out of my accounts, off my social media. I want motherfuckers to stop calling the cops and doing dumb shit. Um, And and not being responsible for the stress that it causes. I I want that. So, yeah. Uh, I'm about to eat my apple pie and my sandwich. And um, I'm going to go somewhere else. Because I don't want to spend my money and then be treated like a caged animal. That's not what we finna do today at all. So, all right, I'll be with y'all later.